Hi everyone, welcome to my first ever YouTube video and today my first video is going to be about how to tell the difference between a genuine vintage Mulberry Roxanne which is this one in the dark chocolate brown leather, Darwin leather, this one is and a fake one which I bought on eBay and this one isn't what's supposed to be the oat colour like that so I'm not going to ramble on too much but I'm just going get, to get down to it so the main differences is between the real and the fake we'll go to the real one first so first of all we'll go straight to the, the little metal disc on the inside so it has the mulberry tree on one side and on this genuine bag it's actually blank on the other side this is quite normal for a bag of this age the Roxanne's are about I think they were made in 2005 so it's about a 15 year old bag um, the zip on the inner pocket has a little mulberry tree on one side and this is a big one if you look on the inside of the zip and you won't see this on a fake bag has a little try and get it into the light there should be a little word in there which says Riri and you see that so it'll either say Riri or there'll be a little mulberry tree in there we'll just go to the, the fake one so this one also has same kind of disc on there but this bit here is quite tricky it's a little bit thinner on the top there the metal is a bit thinner and this one does have a code which is this number is actually a very popular number for fake bags so that's something to be aware of and also it's very deep in the metal on a real bag the code would be just very gently etched in and you wouldn't even be able to feel it it would just be sort of just slightly on there so that one is another giveaway um, on the real Roxanne there is an inner tag which says where it was made so this one was made in Turkey and there's another couple of letters on the other side there And also, in the fake one, there is no tag at all. So I won't, I won't show you because there's nothing there to show. But there's no tag on the inside whatsoever. And also in the fake bag, just underneath the flaps, sort of these flaps here, it's just really cheap sort of cardboardy material. And then under there, I don't know if you're able to see that, but there is like a, um, you can see a mark, pen mark, you see, where it was obviously measured out before it was cut. Now you wouldn't get that on a real bag. On the real one, the rivets are slightly different. So on the handles, they're about that size. They're a little bit larger. And then on the fake bag, they're a little bit smaller. Okay, and also, let me see if I can hold it a bit closer. The mulberry trees on the rivets are a bit, they're just, they're not very well stamped. You know, you can see they're not as high quality as on the real one. You look at these ones here those ones are a little bit clearer it's quite hard to see in this light but they are in real life they are a little bit clearer on there um, there is another difference I can see if I can just find it now Yeah, so on the fake one, 
at the back. This piece of leather here is slightly wider than on the real one. It's just ever so slightly thinner. Okay, so, and in general, the leather you can just feel on the real one is of better quality. It's slightly heavier. Um, and it just it has that really nice leather smell, whereas on the fake one it smells just a little bit chemically, you know. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. Oh, one last thing before I forget on the fake bags, the fake Roxanne, the um, poppers, the metal popper discs are flat, completely flat, like that. And on the real one, they're slightly curved. So they're a little bit curved. You can just see that. Okay. So I think that's pretty much it. I just thought I would share this video with you because I really love vintage mulberry bags. I'm not into the new, the new mulberry bags. I love the vintage ones. So for anyone out there that's looking to buy Roxanne, I hope this video helps you. And I'll see you next time if I do another video. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Bye.